congratulations, you are ready to trigger. Um, and by trigger, what we mean is you're gonna take that shot that's ready to cause ovulation. That means your stimulation has gone well and your doctor is thinking that it's the appropriate time to retrieve your eggs 36 hours after you give this shot. So it's important for me to mention this shot is extremely time sensitive. Um, so if you do not know exactly what time to give this shot, I want you to pause right here and call the nurse on call. That being said, you have been prescribed a dual trigger, meaning we're gonna use two medications to cause that reaction in your body. The first medication was likely luprolide acetate or Lupron trigger. And so if you need assistance in that particular medication injection um, teaching, then you can reference the video link for that medication. This is a second medication we're adding to that trigger. Um, and this will also aid in ovulation so that when you come for retrieval, it's easier to get your eggs. Um, so this medication is an HCG product. Right now we're gonna be using the branded HCG of Novaril or Pregnil. If you do not have either one of these medications, this would also be a great time to stop and pause and call your nurse on call and make sure that you're on track with the medication you're supposed to be using tonight. The next supplies I want you to go ahead and get out is a three ml syringe, a one ml syringe, an 18 gauge needle, which is a pink needle, and also a gray 22 gauge needle. This would probably be a half inch or five eighths inch needle. This is a short gray needle. Your alcohol swab, then of course, in this box, you're gonna find a vial of liquid and a vial of powder, and that's what we're gonna be mixing today. So to start, obviously, let's get some clean hands. You know the drill at this point. Clean, warm, soapy water, or obviously your alcohol hand sanitizer works well. This is gonna be an injection where you go into the belly, again, back to our favorite muffin top spot. You may be a little bit sore at this point in your process, but just know that the, this shot is one that really matters, so make sure you pick a good spot on your belly. We're gonna be pinching that skin and injecting at a 90 degree angle. The most important part about this, it kinda of gets patients a little confused um, sometimes overwhelmed is just mixing the medication. There's a little math involved. You shouldn't have to do the math. The nurse should give you this, but I tell you that because it seems like there's a lot of pieces here and it can be a little sometimes overwhelming, but nevertheless, we're going to get through it together. So the first thing I want you to get is your 3ml syringe. I want you to attach the pink needle, 18 gauge needle to the end of that 3ml syringe. We're going to twist the needle on. There is a vial of bacteriostatic water. That's what we're gonna be using here. Let's draw up two cc's of air here. Go ahead and pull your plunger all the way to two cc's of air. We're taking that and holding our vial. We're going straight into the rubber stopper, injecting all two cc's of air. We're pulling back on the plunger an exact two cc's here. So bring that all the way down. When you're at two cc's, go ahead and pull your vial away. You can set it aside. We're taking all of this liquid and we're putting it into our vial of powder now. Same technique, straight in, push in all of that liquid. We're gonna actually take this needle out now and dispose of it. The next thing I want you to do is grab your one cc or one ml syringe. And if you have been prescribed 1,500 units, we're going to be using the 0 0.3 mark on our one ml syringe. If you've been prescribed to take 1,000 units, we're going to use the 0 0.2. And if you've been prescribed any other dosing, I want you to get instructions from your nurse as to how much medication that it's mixed you're gonna pull up. Some common doses could be 2,500 or even 5,000. So just make sure you know before you get into it what you're giving tonight. The most common in our practice for a dual trigger is 1,000 units. So we're gonna go ahead and attach our needle here. For the 1,000 units, we're gonna pull 0 0.2 ml of air into our syringe. 
we're going to take this needle, put it onto the rubber stopper and through the rubber stopper, flip up our liquid, and mind you, there's a lot of liquid in here. We don't need that much. So we're going to push in our air, and again, we're going to draw back only 0.2 cc's of liquid. Sometimes with this particular vial, you will get some air bubbles. So make sure you're flicking all the air all the way to the top. Withdraw more liquid than you need so you can push back all of the air. And now that I'm exactly 0.2 ml, I'm gonna pull away my vial. I'm gonna prepare my skin now. So to do that, let's go ahead and cap our needle, making sure we're not pushing the stopper. Again, we're going into the belly. I want you to rub the skin for 10 seconds, let that dry, air dry, no wafting or waving, and please don't blow on it. Your skin is drying now. We'll take off the safety cap needle. And at this point, you're probably pros at this subcutaneous injection. So go ahead and inject that, push in all of the medication, pull out your needle, and drop it into your sharp spun, and you're done.